time for another episode of The Road to Boston, and today we're going to be covering the week from December 26th to January 1st, along with some additional time because of some big news that is really not that good. Starting the week off on that Sunday the 26th, I actually ran for the first time on a Sunday in a pretty long time. Went two miles at a solid 7.05 pace, which I was pretty amped about, you know, coming back from the holidays and eating all them cookies. Was still able to run at a fairly decent pace but then later on monday afternoon i was playing basketball and you know when i was using my 45 inch vertical jumping up and grabbing a rebound or something came down and felt like i pulled or tweaked something in my leg and it really hurt did not feel good at all and so i decided to rest for a little bit the rest of the day stop playing and you know to kind of see what happens and then when tuesday came around it was not good i tried running at a seven minute pace and was not happening. My leg was not feeling it, hurting a lot. So I decided to slow it down to like a 9.30, 10 minute pace almost for two miles. And even that was making my leg pretty tender and pretty sore. After doing some more research, asking around, things like that, came to the conclusion that 99% sure that I pulled a muscle in my inner thigh, hamstring area that basically prevents me from running or doing any major physical activity involving my legs for a while. Which is a total bummer because the training has been going so good the last couple weeks, but sometimes things just happen and I'm deciding to just let it heal and not push it because I don't want to be out for a substantial amount of time, like four to six months. Instead, I'm going to take four to six weeks try and rest up, heal up, and then get right back at it. But following that statement, I have not been running for the last like four to six weeks because I'm trying to rest up and let my hamstring, quad, whatever you want to call it, heal up so that by the time I do run a marathon, I am actually 100% and I'm not running with an injury and the risk of really hurting myself. This means that my cardio shape has drastically decreased and that will probably show during the race. However, I am still doing some cardio, I swim occasionally, I've been riding my bike, going on walks, things like that. It doesn't hurt or irritate my leg at all, it's just when I really start to push it with running is when it really starts to get irritated. And if you follow that timeline of four to six weeks, it'll put us in that first week of February-ish. And this is when I started to do a little bit of light training, jogging, I don't know if I consider it running, but I jogged, ran half a mile at a nine minute pace, which felt good, but towards the end of it, it started again started to get a little tender, I decided to stop, don't push it, let it heal completely, you know, I'm not going to rest four to six weeks and then hurt it again because that would be a bummer. But then on the 11th, that Friday, I decided to push it a little more, I went a whole mile instead of half a mile at a slower pace, I knocked it down to like 9, 39, 45, I felt great, nothing was hurting, I was sweating, which was great, and it was just a great run, I'm looking like I'm going to be able to get back into it pretty soon. All this information and occurrences happening is going to wrap up our episode for today. Thank you for watching. As always, obliterate that like and subscribe button. Aha! Uh -huh. And be sure to pay attention when the next video is posted. Maybe I'll be running like full out and we can get right back into the training. Catch you next time.